Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at grouping measures in Tableau. Now I was first curious why people wanted to group measures in Tableau, but then I found out sometimes people want to create financial statements like this and they just simply want to be able to group all those items together. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So here we are inside Tableau and this is kind of going to be the final product that we're going to build. We won't build it out with all the formatting and everything, but essentially our goal is to create these groupings right here of these categories. So here we have quantity, uh, sales, discounts, and profit. And so we're going to build something like this where we want to group maybe two different items under one category and these items happen to be measures. So let's go to our blank worksheet. So here we are in our blank worksheet called grouping measures. And the first thing we're gonna take a look at is our measures. So we have discount, profit, uh, profit ratio. We can actually get rid of this since we won't be using this. Quantity and sales. So these are pretty much our four measures right here. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the data source tab and I'm on the orders table. This is the Superstore Sales Database, the 2020 version. So it has all 2020 values. And I'm gonna look for these four items that we just talked about. So sales, quantity, discount, and profit. I wanna group these into categories. So what I'm gonna to have to do is pivot this data first. So if I right click and go down to pivot, the data will pivot. So here we have the actual name. So what we'll call this is finance. And we'll call these the finance category. And then here we have the value. So we'll right click, we'll rename these and I'll call this the finance values. Cool, so now we have our finance category and then the values that were there are now transformed over to this. So this makes it much easier for us to be able to work with the data now that we have it labeled like this. So let's head back over to the grouping measures table. So now that we're on this tab, let's just get rid of any errors we might have just so it doesn't show because we don't need it for this particular tutorial. And we have our blank canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drag in all the items that we're gonna need in order to build this out. Cool, perfect. So now you can see that this statement is starting to take a little bit of form. So now we just need to do one more thing just to get the numbers inside there. This is pretty easy. Actually, well, we need to do two more things. We actually want to bring in our values. So let's do that next. So here we have the finance values that we created and you can see it's under the measures section. So I'm gonna drag that in there. And now you can see the measures for each one. So I can see my discounts, my profit, quantity, and sales. Now, the thing that we want to do is we want to group these together. So say we're building out a financial statement and in this financial statement, we need to group items together and then they kind of make like a sub header of a bigger category. So we want to be able to put these inside their own kind of dimensions, you, you would say in this case. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to be able to do that using a calculated field. So let's go ahead and create a calculated field. In order to get everything in there, we're going to use a case statement. What the case statement is going to do is it's going to, it's going to look at the finance category, which we created on the data source tab. It's going to look for the name that we have. So what's this name right here? And then put it inside these categories that we labeled over here. So you can see we have material, sales, sales, and net sales. So that's going to be the categories we decided to use. And now you can see finance grouping appears right here. So let me move this down. So all you have to do is take it and you can drag it in right before your finance category. And at the top, now you have these extra headers in there. So this makes it super easy to be able to group these measures any way that you want. And all you have to do is right click and hide that. And so now you have a materials category, a net sales category, and then you have the sales category, which has a subsection of two different um, measures inside there. So that's the quick and easy way to be able to take measures um, flip them over, you're going to pivot the table and then group them into different categories so you can bid out maybe a financial statement or make it so it's something, you know, that users can filter on or whatever it may be. But this is the best way to do it. So that's how you group measures in Tableau. We have other great tutorials that I know you're going to love. So just click right there and I'll see you in the next video.